hello sir i would just like to begin your speech was amazing i thoroughly enjoyed your personal anecdotes it was a really good speech to listen to so to begin with the classic question how does it feel to be a tedx speaker well it feels great um, i think long since childhood i've been watching tedx uh, speeches uh, harsha bogle you know was one of my favorite i am ahmedabad i am calcutta and so i always aspired one day uh, that i'll be on a tedx forum so uh, sir you've described yourself as your typical i am stereotyped graduate but what is one philosophy that you believe in that makes you stand out from the crowd well i think um uh definitely i i while i have gone through the conventional schooling education and you know chosen to pursue a conventional uh, career background uh i think what stands out is my i'm, I'm very uh, into about people right so i enjoy interacting and meeting with people uh spend a lot of time trying to understand uh, uh folks and that's helped me uh, carve a separate niche for myself other than my name of course which is very unique so that stands out uh but yes Uh, I, I do enjoy uh, interacting with people. Yeah. Your people skills were clearly seen in the speech. That was great. And coming back to now, you talked about the sphere of influence. So, what do you think the audience is going to take away from your speech today? Sure. So, I think um, as students uh, specifically, uh, it's uh, quite simple to think about your sphere of influence. Look around yourself, uh, your classmates, your peers, your teachers, parents, siblings, so on and so forth, right? And every day you are in some form of a negotiation with them. so how do you prevail on them uh, what kind of tactics you employ uh, those will help you build certain vital leadership traits that will hold you in good stead for the future so one more from your speech you spoke about the story of david and goliath yes. but david is it's believed that he was the chosen one he had the hand of god so do you think leaders are born or do you think the skill of leadership can be learned sure so i think yeah david and goliath is uh, quite a popular metaphor to use so to say uh, definitely yeah it's it's very i think it is it's it's very immature uh, to say that you know people are born with something uh, you're born with just your basic uh, you know body organs and body parts and and definitely what you make of it right what you make of life uh, is what it is all about right so uh, the, the the key thing is that from the time you're born okay from the time you can actually have a sense of yourself uh that's the time i think you should start understanding or identifying what your identity is identity is going to be right so leadership is a part of that you inculcate you imbibe and you grow with that uh i i i rarely you know <laughs> i quite i quite doubt this saying that you know you're born uh, with a leadership trait yeah exactly i think that's something really good students can take away you still have time to be a leader it's from a tedx speaker directly so coming back to that how is your experience at tedx el pro how do you feel today it's wonderful i think wonderfully organized event um, all you students i can see the enthu it's, it's great uh, some of the student speakers they had a profound impact on me uh, because the kind of experiences they shared uh, showed a lot of maturity uh, they very diverse experiences very touchy subjects as well so handled with a lot of finesse uh, that was great and uh, it's great uh, to be in the school environment again thank you so much sir thank you for your time thank you.